All right. So I'm going to make a video that kind of walks through how I uh, do plan of fear. <clears throat> so basically, um, I'm going to do the whole zone, which means I will do the minis, the, the three golems, and uh, Kazakh. My, <clears throat> my group composition, uh, I've got a Shadow Knight, Shadow Knight Bard, Ranger, Wizard, and uh, Cleric. <clears throat> so, pretty much the way uh, the way I start this is by just AoEing a bunch of trash. Um, it's super useful to do this because Kazakhul will. Um, he will call the whole zone to him when he gets aggro. So you obviously want to have not a lot of mobs up. Oh wow, Draco is here already. <clears throat> so that's fine. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting Draco, but that is fine. All right, so here's this Draco guy. He is one of the first little bosses. I'm going to kill him. <clears throat> Don't quite have what I want. Well, I'll have to swap my bard songs, which is just slightly annoying. Uh, but basically, Draco is one of the mini bosses. He kind of runs around in the zone. Um, the thing about Plane of Fear also is that the uh, the mobs have a pretty intense aggro range, uh, which is nice, but also a little a little. Um, it's it can be dangerous, obviously, if you're not prepared for it. Um, so you just have to be prepared in general. Uh, so the thing that I like to do, like I said, is I like to AOE. You don't need to AOE stuff here. Um, it's just, you know, it's just useful to do it. It's faster. Um, obviously, my characters um, have super good gear, and so they can afford. Like I can just kind of run around the zone <clears throat> and AOE everything, and you know, nothing's going to kill me here. Um, but obviously, if you are Doing this with a smaller group of characters, um, and by smaller I mean less geared, then you can do it more slowly and conservatively. That's totally fine. Um, so you can see that, like, while I've been fighting Draco, um, I'm just getting a bunch of ads, which again, that's that's what I want. I'm just kind of killing ads <clears throat> on my ranger. And uh, nuking on the wizard while I'm just tanking Draco on my Shadow Knight, and you can see here that, like, I don't even really need to to heal that much. A um, couple of group heals now and again with my cleric is pretty much all you need. Um, like I said, this guy is very very easy. So yeah, ads are just kind of streaming in. It's very useful and helpful to me. Um, yeah, this part of it is fairly boring. Um, I like doing the AoEs just because uh, this stuff actually drops decent loot uh, in terms of gems and stuff. So you you know do this <clears throat> do this run, you actually end up making you know a couple thousand plat from drops. So it's also useful. Still getting some ads in here. Yeah, the thing with uh, these bosses 
these uh, revamped Velius bosses as their hit points are <coughs> are very high. So this Draco fight is pretty boring. It takes a long time. But uh, yeah, usually it's usually you get farther into Plane of Fear before hitting hitting uh, hitting Draco. But because of the fact that these guys wander, you gotta be prepared for it. Um, so it's good to have stuff like your dots ready and I could be changing my bard songs, um, but I'm lazy. I don't really need to. I just want to add left. Alright, so I don't have buffs on my wizard right now. Also, the other thing is there's a lot of dispellers in this zone. Um, Tentacle Terrors and Glare Lords cast dispels. So in general, uh, I don't really worry about my buffs when I come in here. Again, if you're not as geared, you might need to worry about your buffs. So just be mindful of your gear level. I mean, like, <clears throat> even unbuffed, um, or you know, mostly self-buffed, just with a virtue. Uh, my Shadow Knight has, you know, almost 13,000 HP. You know, my Cleric and Ranger um, and Bard are all sitting at 11,000 HP as well. So, again, like, I'm, I'm sort of in the, p the position where, you know, whether I have or don't have buffs doesn't really matter for me. I would recommend, so if you see my first four buff slots here, these are clickies. Um, all this row, um, this row here of my uh, hotbar, these are all like instant clicks. I would recommend, um, I would recommend getting at least two or three on any character. It's super useful for mobs that uh, dispel. So like if I'm fighting tentacle terrors, for example, <coughs> um, you know, I'd load up my, my clickies and I'd, you know, make an effort to, to click, um, to try to maintain as ma as many of my buffs as I can. The problem in general with fear is when you get big pulls, like you're gonna end up with like three or four tentacle terrors or uh, glare lords in a single pull. And at that point, no, really no amount of clickies is going to save your buffs. If you want to deal with them conservatively, the best way to do it is to just single target tank them, like take one person and tank them and kill them. Um, obviously they're not hard. Any 65 in decent gear can probably solo them. So send like one character to solo them. <clears throat> so only one of your people loses buffs. Um, Alternatively, you can do the old school strategy of uh, fear kiting them, so they don't dispel. Uh, you fear a snare and then just kill them while they're feared. <coughs> Terror, uh, the golem also casts a dispel. So again, in, in general, I just try to not worry about buffs in the zone. So uh, we're getting close. I'm hoping for a uh, turn undead proc, but it's super rare. So once Draco dies, uh, it's golem time. <clears throat> the three there's three golems. They spawn at uh, each of these temples. Uh, you can see here on the map there's temple one, temple two, temple three. Uh, the golems are random spawn, so uh, even though the Bruwal map lists a name of the, the golems of the temples. Um, any of the golems can spawn at any of the temples. Uh, this is actually a, a, speaking of instant clickies, this is a super useful clicky. Um, and it drops off Draco 
He actually drops two. He drops a ring as well that has the same clicky. It also gives you an AA, um, like 10 attack AA clicky. Um, that's super useful. It's it's usable by plate classes, so um, I would recommend it. I've got one on my cleric. Okay, uh, so anyways, uh, Draco is dead. Good, good. Um, next is, uh, like I said, it's golem time. So yeah, the three golems are here. Two of them. Two of the golems, uh, Fright and Dread, uh, Death Touch. So it's important to not get Death Touched. Um, and you don't want to run too close to the temple. Their Death Touch range their death touch range is pretty big. Um, so if you're looking at the map, um, oh, here's a tentacle tormentor. So this is pretty close to the temple. Um, I, I tend to not want to get much closer than this on the map um, until, un until I can see which golem is there uh so the way that I'll, I'll show you how i kind of handle this as soon as this stuff is dead um nope scarelings um <clears throat> little shadow step switch back to my aoe swords also on my shadow knight and my ranger i've got these aoe aoe proc swords these these are uh, quite useful. The range on them is, is very big also, which is helpful. Um, no, wizard keeps getting shadow stepped. Yeah, the scarelings cast a shadow step. I, I always try to target the scarelings first um, <clears throat> because the worst, worst case situa uh, scenario is if you get um, shadow stepped into death touch range from the golems, that's like really bad. Um, so you want to try and target Scarelings first if you can. Where is he? Here's the Scareling. Yeah, so you want to try to target the Scarelings if you can target the Scarelings. So I forgot to get my AoE songs on my bard up. Um, but yeah, we're just killing these, killing these mobs. Um, yep, just one more. All right. All right. Cool, we're done. Okay. So once again, uh, we're going to look at the map here. Um, so I see this is our first temple. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of scout around the temple. So here, here's the temple up here. Uh, yeah, so... Clearly, there is Fright. <laughs> um, that's kind of what I mentioned. It is uh, dangerous to to roam around uh, because their death touch range is pretty big. Uh, that's fine. So I've died. So I know that Fright is here. This is Fright. Which is actually good. I like killing Fright first because he is the uh, the hardest. Um, Fright casts a, a a spin a spin stun that is super annoying. Um, so yeah, I, I like killing Fright first. So this is actually pretty helpful for me. Um, there's if there's more trash that I want to clear. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's more trash that I want to clear. Um, again, you just want to be really careful here um, because the bad thing is if you get golems... Um, if you get a bunch of adds when you when you get the golems, um, like if you're fighting Fright and then five adds show up, it could be, it could be dangerous. So you just want to be... You want to be careful and conservative. Like there's no rush in this zone, really. Um, yeah, you just want to be as careful as you can 
when you're doing the pulls and try to clear as much of the trash as possible around it so that you can get the golems uh, solo. There are two adds with them. Um, so you can see here I'm taking like a really, if you look at the map, right? Like I'm taking a really, really roundabout path. Um, and yeah, here's another scareling. I want to move back. Again, because the scarelings <coughs> uh, cast Shadow Step, I just, again, I really want to be careful that I don't accidentally get Shadow Stepped <coughs> into, uh, you know, into the Golem Death Touch range. So, focusing my Scareling. Okay, Scareling's dead. Now I've got a couple adds. But yeah, so the key here is to take like a really long path. Um, again, you just want to make sure that uh, you avoid the death touch until you're reasonably comfortable. So I've got some buffs up on my SK. Alright, so I'm back here. Alright, <clears throat> so again I'm continuing my path. So the second temple is here. This is a little a little tricky, but there's kind of this middle path here that's fairly safe. Um, but I also, because I have AE swords, I just want to be a little bit careful. The AoE range um, on the sword is quite big. So again, you just want to be mindful and make sure that you're not hitting the golems by accident with your uh, AoE. Because again, once they aggro, uh, they will death touch. <clears throat> But yeah, my goal basically at this point is to just clear the path um, and try to get the golem solo as much as as much as I can. I think at this point I'm in pretty decent shape. The other thing that you also need to be mindful of is Kazakh Thule. Kazakh typically wanders around in this part of the map. So here's like his temple. Um, he wanders pretty much anywhere from like this line here all the way through this side of the map so this temple up here is a little bit risky uh, so you have to be a little a little more careful when you are messing with uh, that temple um, because okay so here's fright right up ahead um, there's a few more mobs I want to kill before, like this uh, Worry Wraith right up here. Again, I just want to make sure that I don't get a bunch of ads while I'm dealing with the Golem. So you can see I'm just taking a really conservative path around. I'm keeping my distance from the temple. Um, but as soon as this dies, I think... I'll be in position to kill the goal. And then I'll show you how the pull works. All right, so he is now dead. All righty, so we're going to go back up. There's a Gorgon. So again, taking a really long path. Because the second temple is right up here. OCD about my buffs, so I need to have everything in the right order. Alright. Okay, so once again, uh, temple time. Alright, so he's up here. <clears throat> so uh, here's kind of how I'm going to do this pull. Um, so I want to set up my characters. Make sure I'm taking like auto follow off. I don't want any like dumb auto follow maneuvers. 
Um, all right. So how this is going to work, he death touches, obviously. I've got my ranger here, um, and I've got my bard. And what I'm going to do, how, how I'm going to manage this pull, is I'm going to run up with the bard, and I'm going to take the death touch on the bard. And then I'm going to tag him on the ranger. My goal is to keep aggro bouncing between the ranger and the shadow knight. And ideally, I'm going to have the ranger take all of the death touches. Ideally. Um... You also want to have your res up on your cleric. So so in order to do the death touch golems, you really need two characters with a taunt button and uh, one person that can that can res. As a cleric, um, I actually recommend using the actual spell um, instead of clicking the epic. The spell has a significantly lower cast time than the epic. Um, the spell cast time is five seconds with the spell haste, and the epic cast time is ten seconds. So it's 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 actually like a significant difference. Um, and if you're if you're in a situation where you're like dealing with characters that are not as geared, um, or even smaller numbers, or if you have adds. That, that pop up during the fight, it's really important to get your characters up. Um, the other important thing is you want to make sure that you keep aggro on the characters that have taunt. Um, if the if your healer and the person that casts res uh, gets aggro, uh, then you are uh, you're you're gonna wipe. All right, so I'm gonna go pull him now. So I'm gonna run up with the bard. I take the death touch. I cast. Um, I start shooting with the ranger, pulling aggro on him. So I'm going to keep it here on my ranger for a second. All right, so ranger's got aggro. All right. I'm going to kill the adds. Uh, I'm just going to nuke the adds, adds down on the wizard. But my ranger's about to get death touched. Rezzing up my bard. Alright. Ranger has been DT'd. And now my SK has aggro. So I'm going to hold aggro on the Shadow Knight now. Alright. Now my Ranger's up. I'm going to taunt now on the Ranger. So I'm going to turn aggro off on the Shadow Knight. I'm going to pick it up on the Ranger. So you can see here now he's targeting the Ranger. Um, Ranger should probably take the next Death Touch. Alright, there we go. Ranger took the DT. Going to res the Ranger now. I think the death touch, I don't know what the exact timer is, but. All right, so I got another ad here. I'm gonna just deal with that. I'm gonna try to taunt on the ranger. All right, so ranger has picked it up. So you can see here, I'm holding my aggro. Um, and by that, I mean, I turn auto attack off briefly, just so my ranger can, can pick it up. It doesn't really matter. All right, so again, like I just took a death touch here. Like again, it doesn't really matter um, as long as you have two characters that have taunt. I just like to keep the SK up uh, because he has buffs and mana, um, but it doesn't really matter. So at this point, it doesn't matter as long as one or the other of the SK or the Ranger have aggro. <clears throat> um, it doesn't matter who takes the death touch at this point because they're both out of mana and have no buffs. So uh, this is probably going to be the ranger because the ranger has more aggro. Um, but yeah, Fright's going to die in a second anyways. 
Um, and there he goes. Let's see what he drops. Two soul leeches, so pretty garbage loot, unfortunately. Uh, ball of everling, ever living golem. Um, this stuff mostly just gets uh, vendored. The trunk is is decent sellable loot, and then the, these are all no drop items. Um, the child's tier for the uh, shaman epic is is nice, obviously. All right, so now that fright is dead, it is time. for uh, Dread, or Terror, depending on which the next golem is. But yeah, so the next temple is, is really close by, obviously, so we'll uh, we'll see what it is. Dread is easier than, than Fright. Um, I think his death touch is slower. I don't actually know for sure, because again, I haven't really timed it specifically. Uh, but I do think his death touch has a slower cast time, uh, but he also doesn't really do anything um, notable. Okay, so like I said on the map, here's the next temple, so we're going to go scout. Um, going to see who it is. Uh, it could be, again, because the golems are a uh, random spawn. Right, so on the map it says Dread Temple, but that was Fright. So this one theoretically is the Terror Temple. Um, I can't quite get him targeted from this vantage point, so we're going to kind of run around. All right, this is Dread. Okay, so that's good. Um, there's some trash mobs up here. So again, I'm going to I'm going to make sure I clear these trash mobs first. because I do not want to fight these while I am killing the golem. Loading up AoEs once more. All right, this Tempest Reaver. I forget what this is for. I think it's like some kind of epic. Guild needs this stuff. The Tempest River kind of has a lot of HP. Okay, here's the score gone. So we're just getting ads here. It's fine. This is what we want. Tempest Reaver is nearly dead as well. Right, there he goes. I have OCD, so I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Uh, also, you can sell this class armor. Um, you can, or not sell, sorry. You can turn this into um, Guild Masters and Plane of Knowledge and actually get... Um, Yeah, you can actually turn those in for gems um, to your guild master. So it's a, it's decently useful. Um, it is decently useful. Um, I'm just lazy because um, like half the time you'll just get like paradox or something. Okay, so back to our temple. 
to dreads up here. Um, there are some guys in this house right here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so again, I'm taking like really long circular paths. I might have killed the Fright Fingers. Nope, I did not. So as I said, this is the Fright Finger house. There's dudes in there. So I'm going to back off. A couple mobs. And then it's golem time. Oh, fuck, these are glare lords. That's annoying. Well, glare lords. Which is fine. Kill these guys. So, yeah, these glare lords dispel. So, I'll uh, rebuff after these die. Or do a little bit of rebuffs, rather. should be in good shape so our golem buddy is up here all right, let's get this guy in there all right rebuff on the cleric really just need uh, my symbol or uh, armor of the zealot for some extra mana regen Here we go. So, this is the exact same fight. Um, I'm going to do the same stuff. I'm going to set up here. I'm going to get ready to take the death touch on the bard. And then I tag it on the ranger. So here we go. Ready, set, go. All right, so I'm picking it up on the, uh, the Ranger. Res the Bard. I'm going to kill these ads on the wizard. Okay. So, yep, there's the DT. Time to res. Oh, this Gorgon's running. That's not good. Well, oh well, Gorgon's running. Alright, Ranger has been rezzed. I'm going to stop autoing. I'm going to pick it up on the Ranger. Alright, so he's targeting the Ranger now. Uh, you can see that Dread dies like way, way, way faster. He's like a piece of cake. Um, Ranger is going to get uh, Death Touch in a moment. There he goes. Alrighty. Alright, Ranger's up. Okay. All right. This is what we want. Aon. It's nice. It's sellable. Uh, the shield. 
The rest of these things are pretty lame. to the last golem, which is Terror. Um, terror dispels. So Terror doesn't cast a death touch, which is useful. Um, he does cast a dispel, and he hits pretty hard. He's the only golem that has um, mitigation of the mighting. All right, so Terror is up here. Um, I'm going to pull him away because Kazik could be close by. I'm actually going to track on the ranger and see. Um, let's see, distance. Yeah, so Kazik is actually quite close. If I'm looking at the distance tracking, he is like... Um, yeah, he is like a handful of mobs near Terror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him, and then I'm going to run away. I'm going to pull him way back. Way back, way back. I've got a bunch of ads, but that's okay. Um, so this area is probably pretty safe, but I'm going to go a little bit farther back even, like near this zone wall. Uh, because I really, really do not want to aggro Kazakh Thule. That would be bad. You know? Alright, so this, this fight is, is, is super easy. Again, he does Death Touch. Um, so you can just uh, kill him easily. Um, yeah, it's a piece of cake. And I only got one, no, two ads. It's just fine. And this guy only does a single target dispel, unlike the Glare Lords and stuff, which do like multiple dispels. Uh, so you can actually, with, with uh, instant clicks, you can keep your buffs pretty set, um, which is nice. So yeah, this guy is a piece of cake. He doesn't even dispel that often. Okay, one of the ads is dead. And Terror is probably going to start running in a moment. All right, there he goes. All right, some shitty loot, unfortunately. Again, this is this. Um, oops, ninety percent of this is just vendor stuff. Okay, cool. Well, um, hope you enjoyed that. That was the three golems. And uh, next up is going to be Kazik. I'll, I'll make a, a second video for that. Um, yeah, thanks. And uh, enjoy, hopefully.